हेलो वेलकम अगेन वी आर सॉल्विंग गेट 2022 मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग पेपर वन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी नाइन इज ए स्ट्रक्चर अलोंग विद द लोड सप्लाइड ऑन इट इज शोन इन द फिगर सेल्फ वेट ऑफ ऑल द मेंबर्स इज नेग्लिजिबल एंड ऑल द पिन ज्वाइंट्स आर फ्रिक्शन लेस ए इज द सिंगल मेंबर that contains pin at c so this is pin at c likewise b is a single member that contains pin at d so this is pin at d is single member okay member gi and fh are overlapping rigid members the magnitude of force carried by member ci is dash to newton in integer so this is the figure given and uh, here the dimension cd is not given but this can be found out by considering this a e b and c d e similar triangle so ab is your 3 meter and uh, this is your 4 meter d okay now we can apply that uh, ab by cd or dc is equal to be by de From these two triangles, this triangle, and this triangle. So from this we can find out uh, DC as three uh, by two or one point five meter. Okay. Now uh, this is uh, this is single uh, member. This is single member, and this is here. These are the uh, pin. Uh, here there is one pin. There is one pin, and here the joint is uh, taking place between uh, AE and uh, IE. So we can consider uh, we can divide this uh, statement into two sections one uh, along this uh, line a one half is this another half is this okay and uh, assume that the uh, tension in member ci is your t okay so if um, and the load acting on the right side is 2 kilogram per meter so by using method we are taking moment about the e From the right hand side load, okay. So that is uh, for T is in, uh, in this direction. So this T into 1.5, okay. And 2 is in this direction. 2 into uh, minus 1.5, okay. And should be equal to uh, 4 into that uh, 6, okay. So taking moment about this, T is your 18 kilonewton. So answer is 18 kilonewton. so we have not considered this point because this is only the pin these are the, these are not the separate number a c and uh, c are uh, c is a single number here there are two different numbers okay so that's why we are taken this point e okay next two rigid massless rods pr and rq are joined at frictionless pin joint r and are resting on ground at p and q respectively as shown in figure a vertical force f x on the pin as shown when the inclined angle theta is less than 90 degree the rods remain in static equilibrium due to coulomb friction Between the rods and ground at location P and Q, at theta is equal to 90 degree, impending slip occurs simultaneously at point P and Q. Then the ratio of coefficient of friction at Q to that P, mu Q by mu P is dash round off to two decimal places. So this is angle. Uh, this is theta angle. This is f. This is point p. This is point q. This is five meter. This is twelve meter. Okay. Let uh, f r p be the component of uh, this force along this uh, uh, member r p, and f uh, uh, r q be the member of force component of force along this member r q. Okay. So when theta is uh, ninety degree, then it starts slipping. And the force of friction, uh, as it will start slipping in this direction, and 
the force of friction will act in j direction this the force of friction is for f dash r cube or it is equal to mu p r p and that is the uh, r p is the reaction at this side okay so uh, f r p uh, resolve considering this joint okay considering this point so the force acting on f r p force of friction and r p okay now resolving horizontally sorry resolving vertically f r p will be f r p sin theta 1 will be equal to r p or and resolving horizontally it will be mu p uh, r p will be equal to f r p cos theta 1 and f r p is your r p f r p is your f r p is your r p by sin theta 1 or uh, from this we have uh, we can uh, put r p f r p as sin theta 1 and f r p f r p will cancel out from mu p will be your cos theta 1 Okay, so this is about this joint, and similar uh, uh, procedure can be applied to this joint also. So here the force is F P Q and angle is theta two, and the action is R Q, and uh, as this joint try to slip in this direction, so force of friction will act in this direction. Okay, and uh, the force of friction will be mu Q R Q, and the action is R Q, and F P Q as similar phenomena prevails uh, because F uh, P Q horizontal component will be in this direction and the force of friction component will be in this direction and this will be vertical and this will be F R P sin theta. So mu Q will be uh, mu Q will be similar uh, likewise in the previous case will be cos theta one. Okay. Now mu P by mu Q is your cos theta one by cos theta two. Add uh, tangent. If it, if angle if this angle is theta one, then tangent is twelve by five. Okay, so this is ninety, and cos theta will be five by twelve. So cos theta will be one by five by twelve. And if uh, this angle is theta two, then the tangent theta will be five by twelve, or cos theta will be twelve by five. So uh, the ratio of mu p by mu q will be here. Twelve uh, square by five square, or one forty-four by twenty-five, or that is five point seven six. So answer is five point seven six. Okay. Next. 